right guys, we back at it again. Fish finish cleaning. See that? Nice and clean. Look at the freshness of that. Looks like it just came out of the ocean, eh? But we went to the fish market, met a bank off, pick up we fish. It was as close as we can get to it, right? So add my cassava water to the pot with all the ingredients. You see it boiling up there, right? It's already seasoned with the pepper because remember it's fire water, pepper water, tumor, pepper pot, right? So you gotta have your pepper in the thing. Plenty garlic, plenty thyme. I, I use pimento seeds. So I got pimento seeds there. Lots of fine leaf thyme, garlic, and I put a couple of clove in there. Look at that, ginger. Ginger and garlic, pimento seeds just came up there. I left the um the, the stem of the pepper on there so the pepper wouldn't loose up and all the flavor is not going to come out of the pepper at once. That's why we did that, right? The wiriri pepper, because I want that 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 flavor and everything. I took the stem off of the wiriri pepper so that the the and but I didn't cut it as yet, right? It's not gonna cut, it's gonna do that on its own. Now this came to a boil and now we're gonna add our fish to it. Alright. Let me catch a little bit. Folks go crazy for the fish head. And you're just adding it just like that. It's washed, it's clean, everything. You don't have to do anything to this. Let, let it take set with that. And this fish is going to lock up and take in all of that flavor right there. Folks like head and tail when it comes to this tumor part right here. So got my snook tail going in there. I'll put as much snook in here as possible that this part can hold. Nice big chunks when you're eating this tumor, you want to eat tumor, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to put as much fish in here as possible, All right? The rest we save it, and just like regular pe pepper pot, you keep adding, right? So, the rest of the fish that we have here, we're going to just keep adding and adding and adding, and you get to see the end results but the taste and the flavor full up the pot with that fish. You know what I mean? Get as much in there as possible because this tuna is going to be delicious. And the way it's looking there right there, I need some more pepper in this thing. Remember it's fire water. So we gotta fire up this thing. All right, so we're gonna add some more pepper and I'll get to show you the end results. I'll, I'll let the fish submerge in the bottom. I'll, I'll take the spoon and put it down there, but I'm using the camera right now. I got one hand with the camera, one hand taking out the fish. I'll do that and then you get to see the end results later on. Uh, and um, you know, hopefully you get to taste this. Uh, some of you come, come, come by and get to taste what the real pepper pot tastes like. This is tumor, tumor, all right? the Amerindian pepper pot so don't forget guys like share and subscribe all right guys the uh, pepper pot is finished and the young chefs are tasting up the young chefs are tasting up good by how the mom make the spoon knock on the teeth in on camera if you edit that out you have better leave it there. The piece is good. Siobhan, can we get you? It's really nice. You get a little spiciness. It's not because this is a flavored pepper. You're going to get like a... Like a, like a lemongrass kind of flavor. Right? And here we have an official Amerindian taste in the pepper pot right there. Right? So turn to the camera, you gotta let me know how it is. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Is, is it up to your likings, ma'am? Yeah. You, do you approve? <laughs> All right. Yes, that means yes, she approved. And this is Siobhan, so Siobhan approve of that. She's part of the Backyard Cafe. She keeps things in check in the kitchen. Ashanti is another young chef, Ashanti. Come, come, come on this side. Lighting over on this side is much better. Tell me what, what, what you think of this pepper pot, uh, 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 
trying it for the first time. For the it's first too time much. trying it, it actually really tastes good. And I very, very much would like to try it with the, with the, um, the cassava bread because this really tastes good. And that's how you eat this with, you eat it with cassava bread. So there you have it. And Ronald, what do you think? Yeah, so I have, I have two more. Like, it's in the third I have having two more. But like you can't stop taste. It's good. <laughs> but like you can't stop taste. So there you have it. We are going to plate now, and we're gonna test it out with cassava bread. This you can eat with anything, preferably cassava bread. You soak it in the cassava bread, and you get that taste. Oh my goodness! Everything goes back to its origin, right? So this comes from cassava. You eat it with cassava. How do you like that? Don't forget guys, like, share, and subscribe, and then you're gonna get to see how this is done from start to finish, where we went to pick up the fish this morning, and uh, Tuma showed you the cassava water, Ronald is going to show you what a matapi looks like. He's going to give you clips of um, the, the Amerindians grating the cassava, put it in the matapi, he's gonna, he's gonna find something and, and put that together for you. Paying homage to our, our native people, our Amerindians who has been here before us and give us some wonderful, wonderful food. We love and respect our people. We, be, we, we uh, uh, Guyana right now is going through a tragedy, uh, uh, a disaster right now where um, we lost some of our Amerindians uh, uh, kids and uh, we really um, saddened by it that the entire Guyana is feeling it. The, the world is feel, feeling it. The way it happened, it's it's sad, right? So, just wanted to point that out right here. Love and respect our Amerindian people, our native people, and um, this is one of our native dish. In Suriname, it's called fire water. In Guyana, it's called tuma, or you would hear folks describing it as tuma pot, but the correct name is tuma. It's already in a pot. Tuma is in a pot, so by saying tuma pot, it's being redundant. It's saying the same thing over and over. Right, so it's tuma, fire water, pepper pot, right? There you have it. Thank you. All right, guys, it's the final product. The tuma is finished. I think it needs a little bit more salt. What do you, what do you think, Ashanti? Mm -hmm. Just a tad bit of salt, and I think it's going to be perfect. But that's the beauty of this uh, uh, product right here, this dish right here. The longer it sits, on the stove or in that pot the taste just gets refined more and more right so we're gonna let it sit for the entire day and then add that little salt simplicity is the best so the tuma is the Armenian dish with the cold pepper pot fire water and it's eaten just like this with cassava bread. You could eat it with anything you like. Some rice. Everyone likes it with cassava bread. Right? It tastes really good with the cassava bread. Now the spice is really kicking in. Now the spice is kicking in. Mm -hmm. um, but remember, it's called pepper pot. <laughs> All right? Tuma. So this is a fish tuma. And you can do this with game meat, um, all the different wild meat. Because remember now, our Armenian brothers and sisters never came out of the interior or the rainforest to go to a butcher shop to say, hey, let me get two pounds of beef. They hunt whatever was around, fish, whatever animal that was right to hunt in the hunting season, that's what they would do and they would make this dish, all right? So you, you, you see it there. So there you have it, guys. Tuma pot, Amerindian dish, right here, Indiana, Backyard Cafe, Delvin Adams. See you when I see you. Enjoy. Cassava bread and tuma.